Welcome to this tutorial on how to combine GPX file in uh, Garmin Basecamp. So the first thing we'll do is go to gregruns.com and download the GPX data for uh, this uh, run right here in Constellation Trails. So as you can see, if you click on the download button, uh, <coughs> if you're using a Mac, then this is what's going to happen. Uh, so instead what we'll do is do a right click and then uh, save link as, and then save it to our download folder. Um, so now you have it, you can see it right here in the download folder. Uh, we're good to go. So now let's go ahead and go to Garmin Basecamp and uh, import. So file import into our uh, database. Here's the file constellation full. Um, if I'm going too fast, make sure that you pause and go back. So um, here's all the different files right here, all the different tracks. If I do a right click and show on map, then you can see exactly where they are on the map. You can also see that we have several tracks right here. The first one being this long loop and then this one right here that I'm going to combine. So uh, what I really would like to do is split this track right here because it's a little bit too long and uh, it won't match. So right here we'll do a right click and then we'll click on split track at point. Click on that and then now you can see we have two different tracks. This little window opens up, just go ahead and close that. So we have the first track, this is the second track that gets split right here. And, uh, and this right here is the track that we want to uh, combine. Now you'll notice this track right here, you see the little arrows right here, means that we're going only in one direction. So what we really want to do is invert the track like I just did, right click, invert track. Now this track goes in this direction and this track goes in the same direction. Here they are in the bottom left. Um, fairly easy at this point, just do control or command and select both tracks and do joint track, joint tracks. And here it is, the first track, the second track, make sure they're in the right order. Um, if you forgot to flip the track, here it is right here. You can invert the track. When you're done, just click join. Now, it's going to ask you if you want to keep the track or delete the track. Uh, I want to keep them, the old ones, so we'll have three tracks. The old two tracks plus the new one that we just made. Okay, here's the new one and here is the old one, the first one, here's the second one. So that's the combined track right here. I'm going to rename it join track and here it is that's it uh, we're pretty much done with this uh, tutorial thanks for watching